and welcome back to another Minecraft video on my YouTube channel. My name is Alderson, and today I'm in my survival world with a couple guests. Uh, Vopro, I believe, and Spirit is definitely here, although he's not in the nether. But today I'm going to be tackling that nether fortress right there. It is a lot bigger than it looks. And I'll be showing you the best ways to kill the mobs in that fortress and how to tackle it like a pro. Stay tuned. I think I should just drink the potion. I packed the fire resistance potions from uh, the last video I made. And also I found a piglin bastion. Just watch the video I'll be making uh, soon. As of the time of this recording, shoot, I got, oh, there's a piglin in here. As of the time of this for video, the video uh, for our potion making is not out yet. So it'll be tomorrow's video. And, yep. Uh, right off the bat, I just saw chests. Uh, nether forts do contain chests, but I am here mainly for the blaze rods. Of course, if I can get three Wither Skeleton Skulls, that would be nice. Yeah, inside oh, yeah. the Nether Forts, you can find Nether Wart, uh, Nether Fortress. I see you have an Alright, so right here is a Blaze Spawner. In the future, I'll be making some kind of farm with this. I don't really know how to make one, but... You can just sit here, yeah, make sure you have fire resistance, and just... Does you need, like, a, uh, Blaze Spawner egg? No, it's just, there's a Blaze Spawner in the nether fortresses, there can be a maximum of, of two, I believe. And they spawn, they spawn blazes. So this is a good way to farm blaze rods. I didn't make one naturally. You don't. You don't make um, spawners naturally at all. This is one that you can only find out in the wild. How do you make it? Well, you can make it into a farm. Some people make them into automatic farms. Automated. How do you do that? I don't know. It has something to do with the uh, pressure plates and pistons. Blazes will fall onto the pressure plates, which will push pistons. Eventually, it'll funnel them into a uh, small trap where you can kill them. I'm really looking all over me because I don't want Gats to shoot me off and put me in the lava. Yeah, I got 13 blaze rods so far. That's enough to go beat the Ender Dragon now. I can go beat the Dragon if I wanted to. Which I will be doing soon, actually. Also, blazes give you a lot of XP. I believe it's double the amount of regular mobs. Kind of like Enderman, so... It does make for very good XP farming. We already have 23 blaze rods, but I'm, I want to get more. Uh, you can make a conduit with it. If you have What's eight, that? if you have eight conduit, uh, if you have eight Nautilus shells and a heart of the sea, you can make a conduit. Oh, what do they do? Uh, they're basically like underwater beacons. They can make you breathe underwater. You have night vision within the radius. Um, it needs to be surrounded by a frame of dark prismarine. That sounds nice. It is, but they're pretty hard to get. Uh, it's to be a heart of the sea. How do you get that? You have to find a shipwreck, and then the treasure map to that shipwreck. And then eventually you'll find the treasure on the shore. And inside there you'll find the heart of the sea. Are you in the, um, oh boy, are you in the, the, the yeah, the warped forest? No, I'm in the blue forest. Yeah, it's a warped forest. Oh, snap. Yeah, those are great places to get uh, ender pearls, as I, I said in a previous video. Did you watch that video? I sometimes watch yours, but I'm not always like I don't watch YouTube very often. Mm -hmm. uh, me, sad, noises. Oh, a piglin just attacked a uh, a wither skeleton. Um, 
<gasps> he dropped a wither skull. A, a, a wither skeleton skull. So these. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you need three of them to get to, to to be able to summon the wither. Why would you want to do that anyway? To get a, a, a nether star. Once you oh, get. So what, what do the nether stars do? You can make the beacons out of them. Yeah, and then you can blow them off. Yeah. The, basically, the beacon that you see for Ender Dragon is uh, the last ball. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw Dream make one in a video. Yeah. Great thing. I did. Hooked up. I am. Oh yeah, I was in this fortress before. Right here, as you can see, I put blocks here to stop the wither skeletons from getting me. This is a very effective strategy to fight skeletons. Now, as for the blazes, the best strategy is to drink a fire resistance potion and just whack in there with your sword. And I'm just gonna back away. How about you have uh, fire protection on your armor? Now, fire protection is rather pointless on your armor because you could just get a fire resistance potion and negate all fire damage. Yeah, but that's limited when fire uh, protection isn't. Yeah, but I prefer the potion effect. Now, fire protection does protect you quite a bit from fire damage, much more than protection will, but it only does it for fire protection, right? Fire damage. It doesn't do it for any other type of damage. That's the main drawback of it. This is one of my favorite songs on this album. That was completely random. Hmm. Oh, I have 16. Um, I'm talking about the song that's playing right now on SoundCloud. Whoa, hello. All right, with this with this particular spawner, I'm gonna mine it because it's so out in the open. It'll be really hard to make a farm out of it. It does give you quite a bit of XP though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa! There- yo, shoot. There's a uh, magma green behind me. Back off, back off. Okay, this song is, is done, so I'm not gonna sing it. Just spam hit, just spam hit. No! Dear God. Woo! That's where having fire protection saves you guys. Make sure you have your fire protection potions on you at all times when in the nether. But that's a that's bummer. Only if you get, uh, that's only if you get blaze rods. Yeah, you need uh, blaze rods to be able to make a potion. Unless if you're lucky enough to find a village with a... Uh, one of those potion making thingies, brewing stands. Yeah. But yeah, that guy knocked me all the way down to the bottom grounds. So I will, um, make my way back up, I guess. Dude, get back, uh, how many, uh, blaze rods do you have? Over a stack, I think I should get back to base. So yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, today's video and found it, um, somewhat informative of how to get blaze rods. I've got a stack and a half now. And or interesting. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Alderson, signing off.